Hello everyone, you are welcome in Foremost. Today in this video, I am going to tell you about very simple and basic feature of Microsoft Teams app that will make your teaching learning process very easy. So let us start. My dear teachers and students, presently we are facing a lot of difficulties in online teaching. For a teacher, it is very difficult to repeat one topic again and again, again and again to clear the concept for a student, especially in case of online teaching. So now here, Microsoft Teams app has provided a very simple basic and I know you know the, about that feature that is the feature of recording the lecture or video but today's problem is here the problem is after recording that video it is very difficult to locate that video and you know play that video again and again it may be after one day two day or one month yes i know you know we can access these videos from activity corner of your teams app but that is not the exact or right location of these videos and in activity corner you are not able to access these videos in systematic way so now here I'm going to tell you a latest feature or app of Microsoft Teams or Microsoft in which you can access all these videos in one single platform or you can say in one single layout and you can operate all the videos just like YouTube. So now let us start how can we access all the Microsoft Teams apps videos in our Microsoft Stream app. For this, first of all, you need to go Google Play Store, then search for Microsoft Stream. And click OK. Now here, this is a Microsoft Stream app. And uh, today we are going to learn about this app. So install this app. So during the installation it will take a little time so let us wait for that one after the completion of installation click open now here you will enter the ID and password given by your school to you so for example, now you will enter the password, the same password which is uh, given by your school for this ID. And click sign in. Now it will take a little time. So let us approve this one. Okay, if you are using Microsoft Authenticator, then the Authenticator will ask for the approval and you need to click on approve. And after this one, now you can see here all the videos. All the videos recorded by you or your teacher, all will shown here. You can see here. Now you can watch your all the videos anytime here, for example. Now you can see your videos here. Yes, 
Yeah. Okay, just wait. Now, after this one here, you have some options. You can also uh, write the comments for this one. You can also ask the question rela uh, related to this video from your teacher here. So this is a very, uh, you know, handy and very uh, easy way for the interaction here. And uh, now you can also share this video. You can also uh, like the video here. You can also download the video to your cloud here from here. You can also share from uh, this one here by using, you know, by mail or something else that you can do here. Now, after this one here. Now, we have a second one feature here. Actually, the, the Microsoft Streams app, it works quite similar to the YouTube. That means we have another feature here to keep our video offline. So click here on the video that you want to keep offline this one here. So me, you can do the video offline by clicking this one here and download. So now you can see the process here 0%, 1%. So it will take a little time but after this one, uh, now your video will be available offline. Now let us discuss about the next feature here. So we have the second one feature is here my content here so in my content here if uh, you are watching any video so you can uh, uh, list your videos in watch list here and uh, if you are keeping your any video offline for example i have clicked here to do offline this video so you can see this video is you know in under progress so 16 percent offline here so you will get your all offline videos here and after that let us suppose if you have recorded any video then the your recorded video will shown here and uh, now we have another feature here you can upload or you can download the videos from microsoft stream for example let us suppose right now you want to upload a video on uh, microsoft stream so then you will click on this plus button and upload from gallery so first of all you need to give the access information here so now you can see here uh, our phone gallery will open here and now you can select any video from here to upload in the uh, stream app and the second one thing is here you can also upload the video from your google drive as well as from your OneDrive here so now let us see let us uh, upload the video from uh, your phone gallery so click on that video and it will take a little time and after that uh, you can set the language and anything else regarding this one here so for example language is english and done so now it will take a little uh, time here so we need to wait for this one so processing is zero percent here you can give the name to the video let us say one two three x y z anything that uh, you want to do and after this one we'll click on the next and after this one you will click on the publish now after this one this will be uh, available online for your student as well as for your teacher it's not done you can see it here your offline video is here now so now similarly uh, these are the some basic features from microsoft stream app and uh, now you can also create the video inside the microsoft stream app so to create your own video inside Microsoft Stream app, you need to click on the plus and you will select the first option that is create new video. When you will click on this one, it will ask for the permission. So allow this one and again. Now after this one, you can see your camera is automatically on now. So now you have to click on the recording button for this one. Just click on the recording button and you can start your creation here after the completion of this one click on pause or stop and then you will click on here red button and you can start your creation here after the completion of this and you can start your creation yeah. here now click on upload after yeah if you want you can set the language again this is quite same just like the uh, previous upload case and then you have to write the name uh, let us say test and after that you have to click on the next button after the next button this will be available online so now i'm going not going to upload this one so that's why i'm clicking here cancel upload yeah and this one video is a normal video not uh, related to the education so that's why i'm also going to delete this one delete 
yeah that's it now this is a very simple way to use the microsoft uh, stream and here you will get all the content from microsoft teams app so that's all for this video thank you for watching this video goodbye